All right. Now we're going to do AQ count of positives, sum of negatives. This is by Denzel, and 87% of people like it. Given an array of integers, we're going to return an array where the first element is the count of positive numbers, and the second element is the sum of the negative numbers. Uh, zero is neither positive nor negative. If the input is an empty array or is null, we're going to return an empty array. Uh, for input like this, uh, there's going to be 10, a count of 10 positives, and then all the negatives equal negative 65. All right. So right here, we're going to start off by declaring a variable. We're going to say let count, F. let's say let result equal this right here, a zero and zero, all right? So it's going to have, this one's going to be for the, po the count of the positives, and this one's going to be the sum of the negatives, right? Then down here, we're going to say, uh, we're going to take care of this edge case right here. We're going to say if, um, 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 if input equals null, or if input equals, excuse me, input dot length equals zero, we're going to return an empty array, return empty array like that. Okay, now we're going to get to the guts of this thing. So, for this one, we're going to be using the for of statement, which executes a loop that operates on a sequence of values sourced from an iterable object. The iterable objects include instances of built-in such as arrays and then some other stuff. So the one we're going to use is the array right here because this is what we got. Uh, so we're going to say for let i of input. All right. That way we don't have to say let i equals zero while i is less than uh, input dot length i plus plus. And then we also don't have to say input uh, at i either. It just saves us a couple of keystrokes, honestly. So down here we're going to say if i is greater than zero, we're going to say result at zero plus plus, right? We're just going to add one to this one if it's greater than, right? And then we're going to say else right here. We're going to say um, result at one plus equals i. All right, and then we're going to come down here. We're going to say return result. Well, let's test it out. See if it worked. And there we go. Let's see if it really worked, though. All right, great. Uh, make sure these are in order because if you put this one in front of this one, it won't work. All right. Now let's submit it. Do 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 do. All right. So this one basically did what we did uh, with a lot more keystrokes and they didn't put the little uh, curly braces on, but here they did, you know, a regular for loop and then they do, you know, exactly what we did. Uh, and then down here, it's just they're using the filter method uh, to take care of business, which I don't know, that's a little, it's a little much for 8Q, but whatever. So let's go over to mine. All right, just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion. And very much like this, and we'll see you next time.